Here am I, Lord, I come to do your will. Every one of us repeated these words just a few minutes ago in our responsorial psalm, saying to the Lord, I am here for you. Here am I, Lord of life. I come to do your will for the innocent unborn. I will not hold back. I am ready for the work. Here am I, Lord, I come to do your will. Quite an appropriate scripture passage on this day, the Lord brings us together in Washington, D.C. to pray and rally for life. And it is worth noting that the prayer is in the first person singular. Here I am, Lord. I come to do your will, so that each of us this morning is making that prayer personally from our own heart. Not just words that someone else wrote, but a prayer each of us sang in our responsorial psalm. I am here for you, Lord. I come to do your will. This past Sunday, our gospel had Jesus asking the question, what are you looking for? We have John the Baptist surrounded by his disciples who sees Jesus pass by and says, look, the Lamb of God. And immediately, two disciples start following Jesus along the way. Jesus turns around, notices them, and he says to them, what are you looking for? How would you answer the Lord if he were to put that question to you today on this 42nd anniversary of the Supreme Court decision? What are you looking for? Here are three possible ways that we should respond. Lord, we are looking for full legal protection for the unborn. No innocent human being should have to suffer the injustice which the unborn suffer, having no legal protection. Or, Lord, we are looking for all we can do to support pregnant mothers and fathers and families to help them make the loving decision to choose life. We stand with them so they do not feel alone or without anyone to help them. Or, Lord, we are looking for you to walk with us on this road. Only by uniting ourselves to you will, will there be a change in the culture. You are the Lord of life. You proclaim your gospel of life through us, and we are your faithful servants, eager to do your will for the unborn. Certainly, you will bring all this about as we remain faithful to you. After Jesus asked those two disciples, what are you looking for? They responded, Rabbi, where are you staying? We want to be with you. And Jesus said, come, and you will see. Come. He knows that there is no better place to be than with Jesus. We come to place at the feet of our Blessed Mother, here at her shrine of the Immaculate Conception, our petitions for full legal protection for the unborn, for support for pregnant mothers and fathers and families, and for us to stay close to the Lord in this work. We place these petitions at the feet of our Blessed Mother because she is Virgin Most Powerful, Mother Most Chaste, Mother Most Amiable, 
Queen of Families. To our Lord this day, each one of us says, Here am I, Lord. I come to do your will.